Now, like, I'm gonna be homeless. I don't have a place to live. This was my place to live. That's a story City News first brought you last month about a group of men kicked out of a rooming house in Scarborough after fire officials deemed it unsafe to live in. Well, rooming houses are mostly illegal across Toronto, but now the city is looking at whether it's time to change that. At a meeting in Scarborough tonight, staff presented plans for a potential pilot project, but not everyone is keen on the idea. Rooming houses serve a, a type of accommodation for a, a sector of the population that needs something that's less expensive. They are illegal in most parts of this city, but Toronto Municipal Licensing and Standards staff say it might be time to create a framework to license rooming houses and help deal with the city's affordable housing crisis. The intent is at this point to try and identify where the, the need seems to be occurring, which is probably where these things may be happening and then uh, establish some rules and regulations that would allow us to ensure the safety of the residents. The city is proposing a temporary use bylaw for three years in five selected neighborhoods where rooming houses are currently not allowed. Four of those areas are near colleges and universities. If it's not regulated, people don't do anything. Uh, you know, there aren't fire extinguishers or other escape routes and things like that. So this way we can inspect them and make sure that it's up to the living standards that we would expect for people. I appreciate that and I, I see the support for that. But at the first public meeting at the U of T Scarborough campus, the idea was largely opposed by area homeowners who say they're already dealing with them here. We've got 16 houses on our street that are full of students. We have no problem if someone wants to rent out a basement apartment or uh, for a student, but not a whole house. I mean, when you've got maybe 10 of them living in there. Many express their concerns about the impact on their property value, partly because of lack of maintenance and upkeep to the exterior of the homes. And some say rooming houses take away from the community feel of residential streets. We have community events and students and transients just aren't contributing to that. The proposed guidelines would include a maximum of seven rooms in one house and would require property maintenance, waste management and parking plans. But with the proposed project targeting neighborhoods near post-secondary institutions, some say the onus should be put on the universities to provide housing. As far as I'm concerned, U of T should be given no more building permits until they build student residences. The city says while the areas may be close to schools, students aren't the only ones looking for affordable rentals in Toronto. It's not just students. Students is certainly one of them, but we have seasonal workers that come. We think there's a very large uh, receptor area for new, new uh, immigrants to Canada, and they may be doubling up and mm -hmm. things like that. So we think there are some opportunities in those areas. There are still five more community meetings this month and a report is expected to go to council in the fall where a decision will be made on whether that pilot project will go forward or not.